Hello everyone, uh, here we have a Windows HP laptop. Uh, it uh, works fine with the Windows. It has a problem with the BIOS password. Uh, if you boot it up, it boots up to the Windows perfectly fine, but it has a window a BIOS password on it. So let's see. Switch the power off and now power it on again. Press the F10. Yeah, press the F10 button to go into the BIOS. Entering setup, yeah. So we don't know the password. It has a BIOS password. And customer want to remove the BIOS password. Okay. I have already removed the back service door. And this is the one HP X360 440G1. Eighth generation processor. Yeah, Windows Core i5 8th generation process and then now it has a BIOS password I already removed the uh, service door mm, I've ordered the BIOS chip for this one that's a new BIOS chip okay and then it's already been programmed let's see if we can remove the BIOS chip and we can remove the password there is a BIOS chip, that's the one, okay, and uh, now I'll apply some paste on it, okay. Keep the temperature on only 35 and then uh, let's see. I'll take my time. I think I need a bit more paste to paste. Ideally, you should be removing the back, full back case and then replace it, but it is very visible here, so I'm not replacing the back case, the housing, and uh, that makes the job, job quicker. I have set the temperature on 35 so I don't want to damage the chip in case if it does not work the new one so I should be able to put the back put it back the old chip yeah there you go that's it neat and clean right let's see a little inspection there uh, it looks all good. Just refresh the paste uh, points on the board.
it's uh, relatively looks easy as compared to, to the other chips so that's the old one I have removed and this is the new one okay and let's see if it works always remember there is a key on them so key should be on the right position so this key is like that I think yeah that's the key the small dot on the top left corner let me make sure here let me double check it I'm not, I think it's the other side it should be this way I think yeah that's it small dot on the top left corner is the key so where it should go so I think the little blob underneath it need to clear Okay, apply some paste again. Okay, so again, check this is a new tip. And that's the key here. I hope it's good. Uh, yeah, it looks perfect here. Just align a little bit. I'm looking into the microscope. So looks a bit weird for me I'm usually I don't make videos just few of these one I've made recently to just for fun and if someone if it's if it can help someone so that's the key here yeah Again with the reduce the temperature first to make sure it sits well first and then move a little bit this one. Oh, to apply some paste, should apply some paste to the cheaper well, you know, because it heats up a little bit, so it's a little drop on it. A little job. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't heat up too much. I do not have to direct heat. Okay, I'll increase the heat now. It's just preheat. Uh, okay, set the uh, really is do the temperature uh, around 40. So it does not burn anything else, uh, it does not damage any other components. Okay to me now. Huh? 
Okay. Let's see if it's set properly. Yeah, it looks okay. No moving anywhere. Parts on this side looks very good. They should be okay on this side as well. Okay, let it cool down for two minutes and then I'll put, switch it on and let's see if it did the job or not. This plastic is a little melted, but I should have put something else up here. But it's not a big issue. Opening the full board and just doing the job again here. It was a long job, so I thought, okay, without do it without removing it. So it's, it's just a plastic bit only. It's not going to affect anything else. So it's cooled down. It looks like it's cool now. All right. Okay, and now. Let's see if we plug in. All right, guys. Okay, I will. I will replace the bios. Bio chip here. Okay, I'll do a close up on this one. Okay, that's the one. That's a new one. All right. Okay, and here is the old one. Uh, yeah, here. Okay, now I'll. Power it on, let's see what happens. I hope it's gonna work. Yeah, I can see the power light. Okay, 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 okay. I have to press the F10 effect, so just I'll switch off again. Yeah, power button. F10. Let's see. Should give a display on the screen. It's not. After replacing BIOS, sometimes it takes time to show the display. I can hear the fan running at full speed, but still no display. Until I don't see the display, I will keep pressing the F10 key. Yeah, that's great. Okay, yeah. Let's see, that's good. That's really good, man. Okay, cancel the changes, yeah. We are in the BIOS now. No more BIOS password. So if you remember, that's the tiny chip, BIOS chip. Uh, removed from this laptop. Yep. Okay. And it's working perfectly fine now. Let's change, for example, check something. System information. Mouse will be funny in the BIOS mode. Yeah, that's okay. So. Intel Core i5 7, look at this one, first generation, 1.6 CPU. Right, that's brilliant. So if we go into advanced mode, boot option. It was booting good bef into the Windows before, but it wasn't allowing us to change the, uh, install the fresh Windows. I will see if customer need to remove the BIOS password. That's where they brought in, in the first place. So now we can change the for example, you see USB storage, yeah, it supports now, yeah, that's brilliant, okay. I'll close it and I'll shut it down, yep, yeah. okay. There it is, this battery is internal battery underneath the keyboard, right, okay. So I already removed the keys here in case I, in fact, removed it everything before and uh, now i'll install the ssd <coughs> to see if putting back to windows normal so that was the ssd and 
footage. Let's see where the screw is. Here it is, I think. And this one. Yeah. Let's try again. Start giving the display straight away. But what I will do is I will I will recommend as well if you are the technician that uh, after replacing the BIOS chip, just uh, update the BIOS from the HP website. So it's still booting here. Okay, hope you will do this display now. If you have BIOS password on the Dell laptops, we can remove the Dell laptop BIOS password. And some of the HPs as well, where the BIOS chip can be replaced. Yeah, that's good. System distinct temporary disabled to enable me check in terminal management engine, ME option and F10 option. System is booting in manufacturing program mode. So yeah, that's good. No problem. I'll try to update the BIOS later. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, it's okay. Both into Windows. Yeah. Good. Thank you for watching.